I got trapped into economics in high school, uh, in a high school econ class. It seemed like there were some really simple tools that would help you think about uh, the behaviors of people and firms and then the whole economy. And then just class after class, they showed us how interesting it was to apply those tools to different questions. Most of my research is about the education, skills, and talents of workers. And I'm especially interested in how much those things vary over time or across countries. The main reason I'm interested in that is that there's sort of a growing sense I have that those differences might explain a lot of why the U.S. has developed so much in the last 200 years and why we're a lot richer than the poorest countries of the world. So the main thing I'm really excited to work on this year is uh, working on a paper about access to college and how access to college has changed in the U.S. in the last 100 years. My co-authors and I have collected several dozen studies done throughout the 20th century, and we have figured out that Whereas today, uh, it's mostly your academic record that determines whether you get to go to college. Uh, back around the turn of World War I, actually your family income was the dominant factor in whether you got to go. Uh, so some of the biggest open questions, at least for me, that I think about a lot uh, are how countries design their educational systems and how that affects who gets to go to school and, and what they learn there. We think about college as being a key part of economic opportunity in the United States. In this very short period of time, we saw big, big changes in who had access to those opportunities. And so that tells us that it does matter. And the big picture goal, I guess I need a whole year to figure out, it seems, is uh, to work out what pieces of the educational system cause those changes, and then to think hard about whether we can do better going forward. When I did a PhD, I was doing research I thought would never have any interest for the Fed. And uh, over the last 10 years, and especially in the last couple of years, the Fed has become interested in these topics. And I'm really excited to go to a place now where there's a whole institute devoted to people who are thinking about inequality and growth.